tells their customer that the person looks like a mad person black people what is your problem why are you like this imagine <laughs> Hi guys and so today i'm going to the salon i want to lock my hair i'm pretty i don't know how i feel about this i've never done this before if you guys follow me you know that i'm a free former so i leave my hair i let like it do whatever i want but you know um yeah peer pressure but yeah this is going to be my first time i'm going to show you guys the method the woman used the product she used and this is my hair now so i'm really anxious and nervous and excited to see how it turns out after the whole interlocking process so stay tuned like this video leave a comment down in the comment section feel free to send me a message on instagram So this will not break my hair. Last, last. I will break it. Oh, you know the C is where you need for your lana. Which one was broken? Well, my friend didn't have a good experience with interlocking her hair, so I'm, I'm just I'm not really sold. <laughs> To it. no nothing just i'm showing you something okay so this thing i'm doing for you is that not crocheting what are you doing like i'm going to take you everything will be hundred and fifty
Oh boy. So I'm done with my hair. I came back really late yesterday, so I couldn't make a video. This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. Mm. The front view. So now here's the back of it. I'm going to turn this way so you can see me. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel so this is the time where i give you the my thoughts before during after my plans and all of that so you guys stick around and if not left a comment down in the comment section please make sure you leave a comment down in the comment section thank you so i'm going to spin again for you guys to see my hair Then this way. Okay. Okay. Glasses or no glasses? <laughs> Somehow glasses. I feel like you're a nerd. So, yeah. So now I'm back to it. Well, let's start with the major reason I decided to interlock my hair. So the major reason I decided to interlock my hair is um, my my mom. You guys, I'm Nigerian, obviously. I mean, I have, um, well, long story short, the typical Nigerian parent doesn't understand locks, tattoos, piercing, like all of that stuff. But that's not important, you know. I just decided to do it i mean i've never done it before and it's like a one-time thing there's no harm in trying just do it please my mom and then i'm out of there so now before the process right so what i did for the interlock right now i'm in accra like i told you guys i'm in accra right now accra ghana so what i did first i checked online and there are so many methods for locking dreads like salon locks to look this way you know i like I was free forming or i'm free forming anything you guys want to call it so yeah there's the crochet method there's the retweet method and there's the interlocking method right these are three different methods so what i wanted was the i wanted the retweet method but the funny thing is that there's a time i tried during my my first um my first month in free forming i tried to retweet my hair with aloe vera i even tried one time with v wax and it just didn't work my hair is like super super thick you guys let me see my hair is like really really thick so it didn't last at all when i went to the salon i told the woman i wanted that style and then she said if i retwist it i would have to put this in a style like they probably pin it down or do some weird style on it so that you stay and then i'm like no i really like my hair free i, I like my hair free i don't want to put my hair in any style that i have to carry for a week or two then i told her to show me the method like she should do one like one retwist so that i'll see i think she tried to retwist this one by this side sorry if i'm switching between ghana and nigerian accent i really switch sometimes she tried to retwist this one and it just wasn't staying she kept saying oh that but when i'm done with it it will stay i tell her that i know my hair it's not going to work and i saw what she was using to retwist it looks like like some gel i think that retwist works for if your hair is not all that thick maybe if you have like 3c or 4a texture i have 4c texture and then apart from that my hair is like really really thick so I just told her to do the the crochet and to interlock the roots because that's the only option that's going to work um takeaways so the product that she used she washed my hair with normal natural hair um shampoo and conditioner she used conditioner you guys know that i'm really when it comes to using conditioner on your lock i'm still undecided but then she um assured me that locks are hair and then you can use conditioner on them but you just have to rinse them out very well right so for interlocking my hair 
after washing my hair and the conditioner she didn't use any product she just used some hair oil with peppermint or tea tree um, similar to what i sell for nappy c that's what she used to just spray my roots then she went ahead and just used the crochet pin to crochet my roots my the stem i mean the body yeah the the this side then she interlocked the roots then she also palm rolled it so if you look at my hair it looks yeah i've never palm rolled my hair before at all so if you look at it now it looks really smooth that's what palm rolling does to your hair so some people when they're free from they also palm roll their hair so you can decide to palm roll your hair if if that's like if that's what you want you can palm roll your hair on your own so your hair looks quote and unquote neat but me i'm really really digging the free from style the bomali style so yeah i'll definitely let my hair grow out and all that then this, my salon experience honestly i think like 30 minutes when i went to the salon it was cool you know welcome and all that then she started doing my hair i think she had locked this side one two yeah three no three yeah she locked um three and then she started giving she started dropping a lot of negative comments about my hair oh my god i kid you not like i was this close to leaving the salon i just thought okay i'm just going to sit through it if i listen to everything that people say every time i'm definitely not going to do anything in life i'm going to be so pissed because because man i was really she was just saying a lot of things and i just kept quiet i didn't say i didn't say anything she kept doing my hair well, halfway through my hair and she tried to make jokes with me i told her that i'm not happy with what you said about my hair you are a loctician someone comes to your salon the person is paying you for a service who tells their customer that the person looks like a mad person black people what is your problem why are you like this imagine getting these things from white people i don't expect it from you a typical african a black person like how does this make sense and then she was saying a lot of things and i really cleared her that see in life okay there's preference okay you can have your preference you can say oh yeah i mean i like this car I, I like this car you know it's, it's really nice i like this car it doesn't mean that the next car is trash you can say oh i like slim girls it doesn't mean that fat girls are trash you can say oh yeah i like girls that wear wigs it doesn't mean that people that love their hair are trash like why can't we understand this i got really pissed at some point and i i just cleared her i told her and then she started making some funny comments and she was saying that oh that eh, she's not a big she, she was just she wasn't making sense basically i told her i'm going to say it in my video that what you did is really really immature you are a loctician people come to you they pay you for services i paid you 150 cities i paid you money okay money that i work for i don't come there for you to talk trash to me i walk around every day i get trash on the internet on facebook on snapchat i don't expect it from you i'm paying you so please if you're watching this video please 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 you are mature okay you are probably like 40 something or 30 something act like an adult like act like kids anyway that is by the way that's not important i'm used to these negative remarks and all that shit so then um how many hours did it take me for my hair i think it took about four hours from the from um, washing my hair with warm water and drying my hair and then um walking on the roots and the the stem or the body whatever yes and then she also got assistance from her help like the people that work with her at the salon so somebody was helping her out and all that then um how do i feel about this honestly i swear to god i said to my friends my friends like oh it's cool i look different my friends i look like a like a rapper i i just feel like oh i look like every other person that's the thing with um getting your hair salon manicured you just look like every other person you know but the thing with you from look when you come out there you just you're just unique you know like you're unique but well anyway i have an interview tomorrow so i mean somehow it's going to remove the negative comments so let me just go there at least they have one thing to comment about my nose ring so yeah um how do i feel then for the first time in a long time i'm able to my scalp feels you know with the free form locks you can hardly see your scalp but with this with the locks being tight here i can feel my scalp and like air just really gets to my scalp but yeah that's just that's just it it doesn't feel i don't feel i'm actually indifferent my friends like it my mom is happy i'm just like meh like okay my hair is going to grow back definitely and i mean oh, oh i think there's just one thing i like about it i think right now i'll be able to 
right now i'll be able to lay my edges because with the free form locks I, I tried to lay my edges and it just wasn't working because my roots were not tight you get and my hair was like all over the place so with this right now when my sister comes i'll let her lay my edges for me so you guys that is it thanks for watching this video i don't want this video to be too long so feel free to ask me questions in the comment section on instagram follow me children are still in underscore okay follow me ask me questions like this video leave a comment share with your friends and tell me what do you think like when you go to the salon and the loctician says trash about your hair if it's afro or whatever how do you feel do you think it's right you guys i see my next video you know link up with me if you're in a crowd have a nice day peace peace out <sighs> stay glowing don't kill my lights bye